I'd like to reintroduce you to Josephine, a physician assistant who discovered a passion for skeet shooting that she shares with her husband. Like many women, Josephine found that she was in the minority as a female at her local gun club. That inspired her to introduce her neighbor and good friend Jen to the shotgun sports. Her journey hasn't stopped there though. In this episode, watch how Josephine is connecting with other female shooters by leading a women's shooting group. I'm Julie Golub, and this is Love at First Shot, sponsored by Smith & Wesson. So it started when my husband decided he wanted to learn how to hunt. He was super excited about it and decided we needed to join a gun club so we could do more shooting. So we decided to join the Hartford Gun Club, which is great because our friend Rich Colo is a member there. Rich was very kind. He offered to take me out and just to kind of show me what skeet shooting was all about. And after a few tries, <laughs> I broke my first clay. I remember the first time that she just looked at the bird and it broke. She actually squealed. You could see it in her eyes. And so once she did that, she was simply hooked. And that kind of started all of it. So it's been a little bit of a journey learning to shoot. Yeah, she seemed a little reluctant at first, but once she got into it, then we both started doing it more and more. And it's a great opportunity for us to spend a little time together and kind of enjoy something together on weekends. So when I go to the clubhouse with Nick or with Rich, I noticed very quickly I was the only woman there. Occasionally there would be another woman, but there weren't any regular women shooters that I could hang out with. So I feel like I probably was like a lot of other women where I was in a man's world surrounded by men. So a few months after I joined, the president of the club, Greg Maglieri, had talked to me about maybe getting a group of women together to shoot regularly. There's so many women interested in getting uh, their handgun permits today and the shooting sports themselves. And I felt that there was a need. So we formed the Women's League and fortunately Josephine said she would take the lead on that. What I really tried to do is try to find something to do once a month. Our meetings have ranged from, you know, just getting together to talk about being a women shooter to shooting out on the pistol range, shooting shotgun. About six months ago, Jo came over to me and introduced herself, told me about the Women's League and asked if I'd like to join. And I very enthusiastically said absolutely yes and came to a meeting and loved it. Having the opportunity to join a club where women are in that meeting just gives you that sense of comfort and ability to interact and connect with women on a different level than you might in your normal day-to-day -day life. Right now, our membership is, is very strong but a big portion of that is the women. The women that are joining the club, not just because their spouse belongs here, but because they want to become a member and shoot and continue their uh, practice and education with the firearms. Some of the members of the club have been really generous with their time. We've had another shooter who teaches a lot of the NRA safety classes take a day teaching us more about, you know, pistol safety basics. And we've had a survival skills class with Mike Gannis, who is the manager of the club. What I have found that I enjoy is that women are different, better learners than men. They seem to embrace new information without ego being involved. Women are using the facility more than ever before. So the more varied, the demographics become, the broader the support base for the shooting sports, and that benefits everybody. We're serious, but we don't put that much pressure on ourselves to perform. We take our time, we line up our shots, we laugh, we applaud each other. We're focused, but it's not as intense. If you told me five years ago that I was going to own a shotgun and that I was gonna be on the board of a gun club, and that I was going to be a member of a women's shooting group, I would have told you that you were absolutely insane. But it was amazing just how much fun it was to go out that first day. And it literally was that one shot, that first broken clay. And I was like, where have you been all my life? It was like the hobby I was looking for. It was something that was fun and exciting. And you can meet some really great people and especially some really great women. I haven't been able to get here, out here very much, but every time I come out, I feel more confident. In terms of being able to line things up, knowing where to put the gun, knowing how to hold the gun. She did some bullet shooting at Smith & Wesson and she came back and she had her target with her hole in the center and she was all excited. I just have to convince her that she needs to spend more time on herself. 
This is my first time coming out with a women's group. It's something fun to do with Joe, and you know, now I have some other girlfriends to do it with too. So my favorite thing about being a part of this group is I love the women that belong to it. I love the fact that they are interested in coming out and learning how to shoot and shooting on their own. And it's neat to see that we can be women in the sense that we are supportive of each other and that we laugh and we have a good time. But at the same time, we're enjoying a sport that I think a lot of people don't think of as your typical thing that women would do when they got together. It's been great to meet Jo and finding out that she belongs to this club and she's really spearheaded the, the women's group because I really am looking to join um, sometime in the near future. So I think that, you know, that's the kind of stuff that makes me want to come back. Uh, I would say to anyone who's interested to, first of all, start looking around you if you belong to a gun club. You know, put a sign up at the front desk, ask around. I think it's something that people could do anywhere. Just find a group of women who are interested in shooting and just get together. Most of the women in the group, I probably never would have met. Even being a member of the gun club, I love the fact that we're all from different backgrounds, but we all share this love of shooting. We're a minority, you know, we're women who shoot. So I feel very blessed that I have these women to meet with and to shoot with, because I wouldn't have it any other way. If you enjoy shooting and want to share it with women, do it. For anyone who wants to spearhead a local women's group, Josephine not only offers great advice, she's an inspiration. Are you interested in meeting other women shooters but not quite sure how to get started? First, start with some research. There are regional and national women's leagues and programs such as the NRA's Women on Target already in place in many areas. Find out what's available around you. You'll be surprised how easy it can be to connect with female shooting enthusiasts in your area. As always, we love hearing about your love at first shot experiences. Let us know if this episode has inspired you to get started in a women's shooting group. Next time on Love at First Shot, we'll catch up with radio show host Daria Bruno and discover how and why she became a certified firearms instructor.